bombing stage is part of the investigation stage of learning you for when they eventually rob you, right? And so they have to learn these things. It takes time. It doesn't happen in a, in a day, right? Now, on to the point of this video of what happens when a narcissist disappears. Now that the narcissist has learned how you operate, what your habits are, what you do, okay, um, the response, and they, they've got it down to a T. They know you better than you than you know yourself in a lot of ways. And not always, but usually narcissists, uh, they, they bait you into arguments. They, they bait you into an argument because they know exactly which type of thing you're going to engage in intensively. Typically, it's something that you thought you already had hashed out and got over with, but they're bringing it up again. Stuff that you thought was, was resolved, but they're bringing it up again, and they're getting you back into stuff that, um, you know, you, put, you thought you put to rest, basically. And this is annoying. It gets annoying. It gets you frustrated, but the narcissist knows this, but that's the best way to start an intense, heated argument. It's usually something petty. It starts with which the narcissist blows up emotionally within the, within the argument, right? And so we're, we're talking heated, a heated argument. The narcissist will blow it way out of proportion, right? And now you and the narcissist have, you know, obviously been in this type of situation before where you've been in these arguments and it's become a pattern. And within that pattern, the narcissist would leave maybe for a couple of hours and then return back with an apology um, that they, they, they let that, they don't know why they let that get to them. And then, not, they, but when they come back, they're in a total different disposition before you, and you guys know the, the when you see them and the eyes are bulging out, some people say their eyes go black and they have this, just this intense rage. This is generated. They know how to switch and go from one emotion to another. And it seems believable. But wait, that was generated. That was an act. They know how to turn on the act in such an intense way that it is. it, it appears to be real and genuine. So you can't tell the difference. But let's say the narcissist prior to that had met a new source of supply. And that new source of supply wanted to meet up at a certain time. And that certain time was in the evening. And let's say it's, you know, whatever time in the evening. But... It's usually time where you guys are spending time together, you know, you're off from work or whatever. But the narcissist has this new source that they have arranged something with. They know that they can't just leave at a certain time. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of an inappropriate time. It's a little bit later in the evening and, you, you know, they need a little bit more time than just 10, 20 minutes. So here comes the ensuing argument, right? The narcissist has carefully calculated this argument blows up, you get into a heated argument, narcissist leaves as usual because they've done this before, and then they would usually return with the apology again, and the makeup sex possibly ensues thereafter, okay? Now, since this has happened, you develop a, uh, since this has happened before, you, you develop a certain uh, expectancy based on the, man the manipulator's process of how they've worked and operated with this type of situation beforehand. The narcissist knows all too well what's going on in your head when this happens and what usually happens when they come back with that apology, all right? You're sitting back, right? But see, they had to do it that way because they knew that that would justify them leaving or them having to leave and that it usually works and that they do this to cool themselves off, quote unquote. And they come back totally different. Now the victim will equate this as being an effective way of them coping with, get, with getting their emotions so riled up. So the victim starts to think, well, this is, they do, they have emotional problems, they blow up, they don't know how to, to handle their emotions. And the narcissist will further reaffirm that, you know I have emotional problems, you know I get angry, ever since I was a kid, they always go back to this, ever since I was a kid people used to do this and people used to do that. This is further manipulation, stop buying that shit. Stop buying the fact that, oh, when I was a kid, 
I, I used to blow up and people used to pick on me and all this. No, this is used for manipulation. This is used so that you will buy into the story and you will help justify the purpose of them acting and behaving in that way. Managing down your expectations so that you don't require a better, uh, 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 better interaction between you and them. This is all manipulation. Them to pull their works, manipulations off a lot smoother without you suspecting otherwise. Again, anyone exaggerating or blowing things out of proportion is manipulating you. And in the same way, not only that, but they're creating the grounds for the mental reconditioning of your expectations. Don't buy into it. Anyway, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, you can check out any of the, my documentary, my ebook course, which I usually recommend for any of those who just get in, getting into the narcissist uh, community. Um, all of that is in my uh, uh, the link in the drop down box. You can check that out, even if you want to help support the channel. All that's in there. Anyway.